All right, hey traders, TG Watkins here. It is uh, February 16th when I'm recording this. And just a reminder that if anybody is interested, you can check out the Moxie Indicator Mastery, which is the trading room, and all the education that I put in there for $7 for a 30-day trial. So go ahead and come over to Simpler Trading or Profit Pilot, and you can uh, check it out there. All right, so I was kind of looking back at my previous video that I had here on stock charts because I wanted to see, well, how, how did I compare then to what I was seeing now? And it uh, seems like I'm pretty much on it. So the thing that we were looking for was that we got the initial pullback. <clears throat> and that was right around here from when I recorded it last week and said, hey, looking for a pullback. Well, we got that. And then after that, what is typical is you will bounce off of the daily 21. And then we have to kind of figure out, well, where is price going to go from there? And that's what we could see is we got, we got the bounce, came up. Um, it's been a fairly good week. There were quite a few up moves in the market. Uh, a lot of them were on earnings. Uh, there also were some that just got totally smashed on earnings. So, you know, of course, uh, earnings can always be a, a minefield. You never know which way they're going to go. And, um, you know, things were looking pretty good, pretty exciting. Uh, a lot of things did come back up after this bounce off of the daily 21. But kind of looking around, I'm like, hmm, things are just looking a little bit overdone. And part of what I was seeing there, and this is the development that I wanted to make sure that I was uh, keeping up on, was notice here on the hourly chart, the Moxie indicator is below zero and stayed below zero, even though price was up here uh, hovering around the hourly 50. This is an inverse trampoline move. And I was kind of looking around saying, okay, is this thing gonna work? I mean, boy, this thing is really just taking its time from, from doing something. It was really hanging around for quite some time. And we could see that there were bigger stocks like Apple and Amazon or Apple, Tesla, and Nvidia that kept going up in big, big ways. However, you look at those big stocks and there becomes a point at which like, I don't know how much further these things can really go before a pullback. And they tend to line up with what the market's gonna do. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at here, seeing that, uh, yes, I, I think in fact, this inverse trampoline move is gonna kick in. Now, the caveat is, is this going to be a deep pullback or is it just kind of kind of, you know, meander a little bit, come down a little bit, go sideways and more or less flag until it finds some strength? That is something we don't know. So, um, well, I, I'll, I'll cover that in two different ways. One, typically what I see in a situation like this is that we do get price to come back down to the daily 50. So I am going to be looking around for something like that and see if that can happen. Uh, two, it really could just kind of flag a little bit like this and continue moving up. And maybe it's looking for something closer to the hourly 200 that's going to move up. So, you know, while this continues to move up, this could kind of come down like this until they finally meet and then it could resume its trend up there. So we do kind of have to leave it open. This is why I, I do tell my subscribers to be careful about trying to short uh, a pullback because number one, you know, if you were to get that and you shorted it, well, it bounces right on you if you don't get it right. And then number two, we just, we don't know how far of a pullback it's going to be. It's much easier to trade with the direction than against it. And uh, trading to the downside here would be trading against it. So yes, while there might be some money debate made and you know there's the opportunity, it is the more challenging situation. But I do think we're going to be looking at uh, the markets pulling back. All right. And then another thing <clears throat> we were looking at here was with the UVXY. And what we could see is that basically pattern within a pattern, we're seeing that uh, there's kind of a, you know, there's a, there's a double bottom right through here. And that double bottom also was a trampoline move or is a trampoline move here on the hourly chart. We have price below the hourly 50, the moxie indicator above zero. And if this thing continues to work, then yes, the UVXY is going to go up. And this has been another piece of the puzzle that I look at to say, hey, if I don't have a lot of clarity with the SPY itself or with the indices, maybe the UVXY can tell me a little bit. And it's telling me. You can also see there's a double bottom within a double bottom. So that was what helped get this uh, thing moving today. Also, keep in mind, we're coming up to a three-day weekend. You know, that might have something to do with it, too. But yeah, basically, I would say we should be prepared for the UVXY to start making a move to the upside. Now, I'm only willing to take it so far, maybe UVXY to the daily 50, you know, the SPY down to the daily 50. After that, we need to re reassess. I am not saying that the market's going to implode or anything. I'm really just looking for a pullback right now. And we'll just have to see, you know, how far that uh, pullback wants to go. Uh, we can also look at the VIX. And the thing we're kind of seeing here is, again, there's, there's been a little bit of change 
in through here. Uh, let's see, can I do this? I want to... Uh... Oh. Anyway, so what we wanted to see in through here was that the, the VIX is starting to show a little bit of uh, yeah, strength, you know, really to put it bluntly. So what we can see in through here is that the daily chart, you can see we actually got over the daily 50. It didn't last, but it was it is a point of notice that it is now getting over the daily 50, okay? It wasn't doing that before. And so now it's kind of making a little bit of headway. We could see that there is a higher low in through here. And again, the MOXIE indicator is above zero. We had a little double bottom, a double bottom within a double bottom. And so we are seeing that the VIX is starting to get some traction. So this does mean watch out for the market. And if we look at the IWM, let me come over here because the IWM was fairly clear. I had a, um, another session on stock charts earlier today, uh, Your Daily Five. And what I covered was this. I spoke about this inverse trampoline move happening here on the hourly chart. And uh, this basically being an inverse elf shoe on the daily. Uh, basically the same thing as here that we saw back in August and more or less what we saw here around December. And again, all of these pulled back to the daily 50, which is why I'm wondering if price is going to pull back to the daily 50. If you want to see what that example looked like, uh, let me kind of zoom out here. Actually, I could do this. If we maximize it, then we can get a little bit better view. There we go. So notice, you see here, there's your Moxie price trigger. There's your Moxie price trigger. And notice you have price that bounced up into the underside of a downtrending hourly 50 with the Moxie indicator below zero. And again, you had the same thing here, bouncing up into the underside of a downtrending or a downtrending hourly 50 with the Moxie indicator below zero. It's the same thing. Heck, you could even say here, it's the same thing. It's the same exact pattern, the same exact setup. And what happened after each one? Well, the market pulled back. So really the question is, how far is the pullback? Uh, how long is it going to last? How deep is it going to be? And how bad is it going to be? But basically everything I'm looking at is like, yeah, there looks like there's going to be a pullback coming. So do what you need to do in order to kind of you know prepare for something like that. Okay, and then we can also look at the QQQ and see a little bit in through there. And they're all basically doing the same thing. The whole market is you know, shaping up to, to look like this. You can see a little bit of a double top in through here. And again, there's your Moxie price trigger, the Moxie indicator below zero. And we had a really, really great six weeks. I mean, that's the other side of it. We had from, from the end of December, call it the beginning of January till now, six weeks, the market just went straight up. I mean, this thing's great. It deserves a break. Like, let's give it a little bit of a rest. So really the question is, what kind of a rest is it going to be? Is it going to be a deep pullback? Is it just going to fade for a little bit and then go up? I mean, we're not really sure. But, you know, it's kind of looking out there that we need to be prepared that there's going to be some sort of pullback. Okay, just everything looks like it's going to do that, and then we'll see where it wants to go afterward. So that's the NASDAQ. Uh, the Dow, really not too much to talk about the Dow. You know, it's just kind of been going sideways. Um, yes, it can go lower, but I just don't really have much to say with something like this. We can look over here on the monthly and the weekly. And really, yeah, there's not really not much to say. I can say maybe there's a bit of a gap here between price and the monthly 10. And we'll see if it doesn't want to come down there or is it just going to go sideways until that moving average comes up to it. So yeah, I don't really have too much to say about the Dow. Uh, then if we do over go to the, the semis, SOXX, again, looks very, very similar to the rest of the market. And, you know, it's interesting is there's a bit of a trend line here. I wonder if this can come all the way back down to that trend line and uh, you know start up again. So yeah, I would be looking for a pullback. And again, you can see here inverse trampoline move right there. And um, yeah, just very very overbought. Just like you know, big gap here between price and the daily 50. And as we said before, you can see uh, inverse trampoline move, inverse trampoline move. You know, all that kind of stuff. So same setups. You can see there was a pullback. Now that pullback was into strength. So that's what we're going to be looking for and seeing if this market can do a pullback into strength, or if it's going to be a pullback into weakness. Uh, then what I wanted to show, come over here, and um, you know, some people are saying part of the reason is the dollar. And I just want to show that there's a possibility. And I, again, this is a very big macro situation, and I'm, I'm not an expert in that, but what I can do is I can read charts. And so what I want to show you guys, and this would probably be tied into gold and precious metals, gold miners, all that kind of stuff. And of course, you know, equities. So the dollar, the dollar bounced. And a lot of people are talking about this right now, because if we go over here and show you, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, wow, look, you know, the dollar, 
really popped up over here? Yes. And you know what? Maybe it is putting some pressure on the market. But if we look, and I just want to show you this where I was going to go with the weekly time frame, but I can show you here on the daily. Look where it also right there. Look how price popped over the daily 50 back then. It chopped around a little bit and it continued to go sideways or down. And so that's what I'm wondering is right now, it's, it's really only a bounce and a downtrend. We don't have anything that is actually confirming that the dollar wants to continue to move up from here. It's just not confirmed. It, it might, but we're gonna have to look at that later. And right now, we have price moving up across a downtrending daily 50 with the Moxie indicator below zero, which basically was the same thing back here. And you can see it eventually resolved to the downside. So if we come over here on the weekly chart, that area I was talking about was right here. Do you guys see how it looks awfully similar to you know, what we're looking at right now that we have essentially price bounced up into the underside of a downtrending weekly 21. And here it is again, bouncing up into the underside of uh, the weekly 21. So there's a possibility that these could be the same things. And if it continues to follow that, it could continue going lower. So we're going to have to see if it wants to continue lower or if this is going to turn into a double bottom and move up. So those are the bigger macro type things that I'm watching for something like that. Uh, and then we can also talk about the, the TNX. And yes, it is catching, it's catching a bid. Uh, it is looking fairly good on the daily and hourly time frame. It is coming into support of the monthly 10 SMA. And uh, yeah, you know, it's looking pretty good. So the question is, is if this is going to keep going higher, is it going to be bad for the market? Well, yeah, maybe. Um, but what if, what if this is just kind of, what if this ends up being neutral? And this is something I don't know yet. We're going to have to keep watching because of course it's going up right now off of support. We get that. But there is the possibility that it could just go sideways for a while. You know, this could, this is pulling back. It's found some support, but it could just kind of hang out for a while. And I think that's what we need to be aware of. You know, we just kind of need to see what the market wants to do as far as the interest rate situation goes. But just Keep in mind, we got to watch if this thing is going to keep going higher or if it's going to just kind of flag sideways for a while. If I, I think flagging sideways would be okay, but we'll, we'll just have to see how the market likes that. Now, let's go and talk about, say, NVIDIA. Actually, uh, let's go over here because there were some good things that showed up uh, today. Now, again, NVIDIA is one of those names that looked very, very uh, overbought looked very strong. Yes, of course. And to try and short this, in fact, I was on Facebook and YouTube last week and we were talking to somebody right here and they were trying to short it. And I said, you know, you're, st I, I think you're, I think you're onto something, but I think you're early, you know, and part of the reason was they were still over the 15 minute 50, that kind of thing. And you can see it did finally fall through the 15 minute 50, but then it got back over the 15 minute 50. So let me show you the exact thing and we'll have to, we won't know for another couple of days if this is this is really it. But from what I can see right here, this is the exact moment that Nvidia might be topping out because if you look right here today, price actually got rejected by the underside of a downtrending 15 minute 50 with the Moxie indicator below zero. That might be the beginning of the the pullback, the more major pullback on Nvidia. So we'll have to keep an eye on that and see if that actually uh, c continues to be a thing. But we could also see that price was moving up. Moxie indicator down like that, and this thing's just sky high. I think earnings are coming up, so do be careful about that. Of course, it can go higher on earnings, but you know, just saying, as far as a momentum thing, everything is showing that this thing is starting to uh, you know run out of momentum after such a huge move, which is which makes sense. And if Nvidia is starting to run out of steam, then maybe the rest of the market could be running out of steam too. We're seeing uh, essentially the same thing with Apple. Uh, I just want to show you here: you have price up, Moxie indicator down to level. So there's your negative divergence, and then you have a double top and more negative divergence. So yeah, this thing too looks like it's running into some resistance up here. Let me come over here and show you on the higher time frame that I want to show you this on the um, daily chart. You know the pattern. I'm sure all of you kind of know about my 50, 250 maneuver. But look, you had a 50, 200, 50 maneuver, and look again, 50. 200. What do we think is coming next? Might be a 50. So we'll have to see if this thing wants to come all the way back down to the daily 50. We doesn't have to, but most times it does. And if it does come down to the daily 50, we need to see is it into weakness or is it going to be into strength and then move up after that. 
So something to watch for the pullback. So that's Apple, Tesla also. I think there was some news today, but we could also see that Tesla was just getting pretty overbought. It's the same situation. You look back here, 50, 200, 50 maneuver. And you can see right there, that first pullback to the 50 was into support, was into strength. It did move up, but you know what? The second time was not. And this is why you can see a setup and you can take that setup. It doesn't mean it has to work forever or for a long time. It can work right then and then later can change. So this is just how you kind of have to dance with the market. But there you go. Two interactions with the 50. One of them held, one of them did not. And so what do we have here? Another 50, 200, 50 maneuver. So, you know, I would just be watching this and seeing if, if uh, you know, Tesla is eventually going to get back down to the daily 50. I'm seeing a whole lot of negative divergence come in here, and you can see there was a big, big red candle today. But yeah, this thing was really just kind of pushing, pushing pretty hard on that one. So it could use a break. Again, I think the market could use a break. Uh, let's see, MSFT. So Microsoft, yet again, same kind of deal as all the others. And you could see some negative divergence kicking in to here, and it was just very overbought. I was telling uh, the Simpler Trading Options Room and the Moxie Traders, I was like, look, this thing is way up here at the 30 TR. Uh, even if it goes higher, I kind of don't really want to be trading this because look where it came from, look where it is. And if I'm trying to go along here, that's just, you're, you're just trying to come in at too late into the party, okay? The party's already been going on at two o'clock at night and you're showing up looking for a date. So that's um, just going to be a hard time right through there. All right, so that's Microsoft. Could be, you know, looking for a pullback too or some softness. Now, um, Amazon come in through here and I want to show you the other things that are pulling back like this. You can see another 50, 200, 50 maneuver and could probably go lower because it's not actually touching the daily 50 yet. And you have price running into the underside of the hourly 50. So I see that and I'm like, yep, there's probably a little bit more downside. And you can see that Amazon is doing that 50, 250 maneuver that I was talking about with, uh, I think, Apple and Tesla. So we'll see if it keeps going. And then another one, we have Google, and look what it did. Now, Google might have been assisted a little bit, uh, no pun intended, by AI, uh, all that AI news with Microsoft. But if you look there, another 50, 200, 50 maneuver. So, yep, ran right into that. Um, did have a bit of a bounce at the daily 50, and we'll just have to see where it wants to go from there. Can it go lower? If it does go lower, it might go down to the uh, daily uh, third ATR, possible. And you can see here, maybe it's going to do it on a bounce up into the underside of a downtrending uh, hourly 50 with the Moxie indicator below zero. All right, then uh, there's some, here's another fun one I can show you guys. So let's see, BBBY, uh, very, very challenging stock, very tumultuous. I came across this thing and uh, it had a perfect Moxie setup. And then it turned out to be uh, a pump and dump. And I did not make it an official trade because I was concerned about something like this, but it did, it was like a 90% move in a matter of a few hours, and then news came out about a secondary offering, and it was a total pump and dump scheme. But the Moxie indicator worked. So notice this, we had price below the daily 50, the Moxie indicator above zero, well, that's a trampoline move. And then what you can see here, there's the Moxie price trigger, and you can see it came right into support of the hourly 50, and then you could see right here where price started to engage with the 15 minute 50, the Moxie indicator was up, all this kind of stuff. That was a perfect entry. And that was right when I called it out to everybody. It was right in that area. And then it just took off for the rest of the day. And, and then actually, amazingly, look at this, it ran right into the 200. So yeah, it was halted also. And then it moved up a little bit after it got halted and then came back down. And uh, just, yeah, pretty wild. Be careful with stuff like this. But the Moxie indicator did call it. Very interesting. All right, MGNI, this is another one. Let me come over here so I can show you guys on the uh, the weekly chart and the daily chart. This was another one. This was a good trade that we had in the Moxie group. And you can see here, the reason I got into it was it pulled back into moving averages on the weekly chart. And then this was a great, great double bottom trampoline move on the daily chart. It went below an uptrending daily 50, the Moxie indicator was still above zero. And then leading into that, you can see it had lower lows on price, higher lows on the Moxie indicator. And then it did a beautiful 5,250 maneuver right there on the hourly chart. And so we caught it like right there. 
And then we uh, went all the way through. It bounced off of the daily 21, and we sold it here for I think 25 or 30 something percent. So that was a really, really great solid move. Now I got out because earnings are in a couple days and uh, I'm gonna be on vacation. So I just didn't wanna deal with that. We had a good trade and the market looked like it could use a little bit of a, a rest. So I thought it was good to just pocket that. Another good one that we had was MBLI, Mobileye. And uh, yeah, solid move on this one. I waited till after earnings. And I think it looks like earnings was probably right around there. But notice what the Moxie indicator did. There's your Moxie price trigger on the hourly chart. There's your pullback into the hourly 50. This thing is looking solid. And we really just kind of got in right in through here and boom, boom, nice, quick move. Another like 25 or 35% on that one. And you can see it was holding the daily 50 nicely. It's been holding the uh, weekly, what, eight EMA very nicely. And then we just got out right here and right here. So awesome move on that one. Again, looking a little bit overbought and the market's probably gonna get some softness. So I figured, hey, let's just cash in our winnings. And another one that we had that uh, treated us well it took us twice to get into it. It had a little shake and bake. So I got in it, or at least put the alert right there after price dipped into the hourly 50 and looked like it was gonna bounce up. Uh, I had a very tight stop because you know, I was still a little cautious about where this thing was gonna go. So we, did, we didn't get stopped at, but I exited uh, intentionally right there. And then lo and behold, we would have gotten stopped at anyway because that's when Microsoft came out with its earnings and just sent the whole market down and then came right back up. So when it came right back up, I was like, oh, well, hey, this looks pretty good. Did a double bottom, double bottom right off of the uh, daily 21. So I was like, hey, let's get back into it. And that was worth it because right up there we had a nice, I think it was like a 40% move. So nice, solid move on that. Uh, again, this thing looks great longer term, but right now it could probably use a bit of a breather. You can see that there is a boxy price trigger right there and a potential double top. So a lot of things need to take a little bit of a rest and a breather. And uh, I think that'll set us up nicely for some other things uh, in the future. Um, here was another one that we took. This was HUT. Actually, let me come over here on the, now I want uh, lower time frame charts. So look at the daily, hourly, and 15. And the reason we took this, so let's see, right there, that was, there we go, that's nice. So you can see we took this because it was a 50, 200, 50 maneuver. And you can see there was a moxie price trigger right there. And you could see price was falling off of the hourly 50. And then you could see right there that price ran right smack into the underside of a downtrending 15 minute 50 with the MOXIE indicator below zero. And then we got out like uh, in two days. It was like a two day trade. We made uh, something like 15% on the, on the short side and that was wonderful. Now, this was a pretty big bounce. I did not expect this big of a bounce uh, after this. So um, I didn't catch that, but that's fine because it didn't set up on the hourly chart. Do you guys notice why I didn't take this on the hourly chart? What are we seeing? Inverse elf shoe, or sorry, inverse trampoline move. Price should not be over the 50 if the moxie indicator is below zero. So there's probably gonna be some more chop sideways or maybe even down moves on this. And this seems to have just been a reaction rally or reaction bounce, but it's not quite ready to go long yet based on what I'm seeing with that. All right, um, and then a couple other, let's see, go over, let's go over here. Another couple other ones that I'm seeing that uh, might be working out to the short side. Uh, Boeing, I gotta hand it to them. Uh, it is, this thing has been absolutely incredible. It's astonishing that this has gone up for, for as long as it has, considering how kind of weak the MOX indicator has looked for quite some time, but it has done a beautiful job basically following the daily 21 and essentially following the hourly 200. But all things have to come to an end, and I'm wondering if this thing is finally going to start topping out and we might get a bit of a pullback. So if you're interested in trying to tackle this, uh, we were trying to tackle it right in through here. Uh, we got out like a 1% loss. Um, I'm going on vacation, so we didn't take another trade on this, but it's it, I think it's right there. I think I was, I think I'm right about this as far as being short right around here. And I could see probably a quick, easy move to the daily 50 or just below the daily 50. So if you guys are interested, I think that one might work out. <clears throat> All right, Burlington, uh, basically the same deal, same exact deal. We were trying to short it like right in through here because of this inverse uh, trampoline move right there. Price should not be over the 50 if the moxie indicator is below zero. And you can see it's very, very high up there and it's uh, it should move down. And uh, came down, bounced up a little bit. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe we'll just you know get out, basically break even. But I have a feeling, again, I didn't want to make any official trades. I'm going to be gone for a whole week. 
But yeah, you look at that uh, price back over the hourly 50, the MOXIE indicator still below zero. I think it's a matter of time until this thing starts to roll over and come down somehow. So yeah, take a look at that, see what you guys can do. Um, careful about the market. It does seem like it wants to be uh, weak and pulling back a bit. So good luck out there and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. <laughs>